Everyone's experienced an Android phone overheating in their hand at one time or another. Why does this happen? And what can you do to cool it down besides wrapping it in a damp towel? Here we go through some of the best methods to bring your phone back to a temperature you can handle. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and here are our fixes for when your Android phone is overheating. Once I used my smartphone's flashlight for a while because I needed to light my way in a power outage. Since I was holding it by the sides, I didn't realise how hot my phone was getting. When I finally remembered where I put the flashlight for these kind of situations, my phone was so hot I couldn't even hold it in my hand anymore. There are always going to be situations or apps that cause our devices to overheat, but knowing how to cool down a hot Android device is a must. The first thing we have to figure out is where the heat is coming from. This is going to determine where the problem is located, which will help us find the right solution. Check which apps are using most battery. Overheating and battery power are often connected. CPU and graphics intensive apps, most notably games, will put extra strain on those components, heating them up as well as causing batteries to deplete. So if you find the battery draining apps, you usually also find the ones that cause overheating. Tracking these down is pretty simple, as Android has good built-in battery management features. Go to Settings, Power or Battery and Battery Usage. This will show you which apps are using the most battery on your phone. It's inevitable that your web browser and favourite news apps will rank high, but are there any apps that you don't think should be there? It's possible these apps are running in the background and heating up your phone without you knowing. If you find these apps in this list, uninstall them. Another thing you can do in the power menu is battery optimization, which greatly cuts down on the background activity of apps on your phone. Don't use third-party chargers and cables. The micro USB cable chargers shared by most Android devices are great largely because they're universal, but that doesn't necessarily mean you should just use any old cables and chargers for your phone. If your phone overheats while charging, you may want to look into this. Different chargers have different wattage and are optimised for different devices. Ideally, you should use official chargers and cables from your phone manufacturer, but official hardware for other phones should be okay too. Avoid cheap chargers from eBay that cost under a dollar and third-party hardware from obscure brands. Cool your Android device with Cooler Master. Cooler Master is an app that helps you cool down your device when you feel that it's getting too hot. When you launch the app, the first thing you are going to see is the temperature of your device. Below the temperature, the app will also inform you of the ARM and CPU percentage. At the very bottom, you should see a button that says Detect Overheating Apps. After tapping that, it will scan your device and tell you what apps are causing your phone to overheat. Keep your device in a cool place. Where you put your device is also important in trying to cool it down. There's no point in using Cooler Master if you're going to put it near your window where it will get direct sunlight. To cool your device even more, try taking it out of its cover so the heat has a chance to escape. Some cases have a tendency to keep the heat in. Never cool down your Android device this way. If your device is really hot, you might be tempted to put it in the freezer or fridge for just a minute or two. You might even have a timer on so you can take it out on time, but this is what the experts call an awful idea, since your device runs the risk of collecting moisture or you might even strain the components. It's just common sense really. How to prevent your Android device from overheating. Now that we know how to cool our devices down, wouldn't it be great if we didn't have to waste time doing that in the first place? That's why there are certain things we should avoid doing if we want to keep our phone or tablet nice and cool. If you want to prevent your Android device from overheating, you should do the following. Take out and inspect your battery from time to time. Make sure it's not leaking or bloated. Changing your device's battery every one to two years will increase your phone's life and decrease overheating. Remove the case when charging. Disable unwanted features. Lower your camera settings. If they're too high, they can help prevent your phone from overheating. Try not to play games for too long. Conclusion. When my phone gets too hot, I automatically turn it off until it cools off. After that, I follow the tips mentioned above because my main goal is to cool down my phone and turn it off for a few minutes always does the trick. How do you keep your Android device cool? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, then please click the like button, leave a comment and also perhaps visit our Make Tech Easier YouTube channel for more guides, tutorials and lists about all things tech. We cover Windows, Linux, Mac, 
iOS, Android, and every weird little thing in between. So we'll almost definitely have something for you. Plus, if you feel so inclined, hit the subscribe button, never miss our latest videos, and hey, why not hit the notification bell too to be alerted immediately when new videos hit the channel. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's it for now. See you next time.